Hey guys, Carlos Moreno here from Moreno Boxing and today I'm at Highgate and I want to go through some basic boxing principles and ideas that some of you may not know, especially if you're a beginner and it's the first time you're attending our classes. You may have a million questions about what's going on around you, whether you're coming to Highgate or Dawson. I want to help you feel a little bit more comfortable when you come to the gym. The last episode, Aaron showed you guys how to get into a boxing stance, how to throw a one-two punch. So to get into a boxing stance, you're gonna take your lead foot, or let's say you're right-handed. If I'm right-handed, I'm gonna take my left foot forward like this, okay? You always wanna have a little bit of an L shape, a little bit of an L pattern. So you wanna offset the leg, your hands come up, your shoulder, your lead shoulder goes in front like this, looking through the middle of the guard, when you throw your jab, your jab is an extension of the lead hand. You're going to shoot the jab, rotating the hip, the foot and the shoulder. Your chin is going to tuck down. The arm, the hand is going to rotate so that the palm of the hand is facing down towards the floor. What you also want to do is keep your hands here on your chin so it protects you. You want to sandwich the chin between the shoulder and the hand, chin down. That's how you throw your jab. The power is coming from that rotation of the core and the hips. Okay. Okay, you always want to keep your eye on the target. Now, the jab is a good weapon to set you up to throw the right cross. The right cross is usually, or the, lead, uh, the rear cross, like let's say you're left-handed um, and your cross is going to be your left hand, so it would be like this, boom, that left hand can come forward. But I'm right-handed, so my cross is going to be the right hand, I'm here, I'm going to shoot the jab, chin's going to tuck in, I watch my opponent, when I see where he is, boom, I'm going to throw the right cross. From the right cross, that can set me up because I'm in a good position with my feet. If you guys can see here, you can set me up to throw the hook. Chin down when you throw the hook, palm of the hand facing down towards you, uh, facing down towards the floor. From this position, push off the back leg, boom, you can have another cross, or I can have a right up and up underneath. So, this is just showing you how we string punches together to create what is known as combination punching, yeah? Combination punching is when you put punches together, different types of punches, put them up, cut, hooks, and they just flop nicely. You have to make sure that you're using your hips, and when you're throwing one punch, it's always setting up and needing to throw the other punch. A little bit uh, on the footwork here. Yeah? So, how do we move our feet properly again? So, moving forward, you want the front foot to come forward like this, you want the back foot to take you back, yeah? So I step forward with my front foot to go forward, back foot follows. You always want to maintain the distance, and I always try to advise people to keep shoulder width apart. When you hear shoulder width apart, I actually do mean it. A lot of people go too wide like this, and then the footwork starts working a bit like that. It's just not really, it's giving you stability, but it's reducing your mobility. When you bring your feet together, if you've got natural good balance when you work on your balance through various exercises that we are going to show you our brain boxing, you'll be able to have good balance, agility, and you'll always be able to stay on your feet, on your toes, and have your feet shoulder width apart, which will make more sense. This allows you to then be able to step with your punches. So we don't want to turn the hips into the shots, but watch this. I can also step with my punches by and by. I can step back with my shots. Boom, 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 just here. Okay, so. The way that I do this is when I move forward, I step forward with my front foot and I punch with my lead hand. That back heels off the ground, then I'm going to push into the right cross, boom, bringing that left hand back to my chin. So watch it, straight on, I go one, two, one, two. Always rotating the hip for maximum power and turning side on to set me up for the cross. When I bring that cross, I do not cross my feet over like this, because then I'm changing my stance into southpaw stance, yeah? If I'm orthodox here, I don't want to be changing too much into southpaw, especially if you're a beginner and you don't know what you're doing. You bring just enough to go one, two, and you stop at that point where there's just enough of a gap to stop your foot going over and it's going to allow you to maintain your balance. So that's another idea for you, learning to throw punches on the move is very useful, it's a very advanced technique, but we will show you it. Very useful, being able to hit and not get hit. Boom, 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 boom. Defend, 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 defend. You can also defend on the move, that's another tip. Block, 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 slip, 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 parry, parry. Okay? You can roll, roll, roll. 
There are three types of defense in boxing. Hand defense, parries, blocks. Head defense, rolls, rolls, slips. Okay, and feet defense is the final form of defense. The full felt, you can always get, get out of there. You're not gonna get hit with anything. These are just some basic concepts and ideas that I want to share with you guys so that when you do come to our classes, you know a little bit about what's going on. Eventually, over a long period of time of being here at Highgate, we're going to acquire a lot of students that will take on our techniques, take on our tutorials and will get really good. And then eventually they can help us bring more boxing and teach more great techniques to everyone in Highgate in the area and Dawson as well. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoyed watching the tutorials and getting these ideas and I'll be bringing more specific tutorials on how to actually do these techniques properly um, as we go. And see you guys at Highgate. We're in a boxing Highgate, don't forget. See you soon.